Everyone talks about the obesity problem in America, and so many people want to sell you a pill or sell you some type of uh, gel to rub on your belly to have your fat go away. But you know what? Here at the Big 550 KTRS and on the show, we know it's just hard work uh, and exercise and diet, and that's why we check in each and every month with the weight loss coach to the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand, Charles D'Angelo. Charles, welcome back, my friend. Hey, thanks for having me. You're looking mighty slim there here on Skype. Uh, yeah, that's because Skype makes you lose, makes you look ten pounds less. Actually, actually, I thought cameras make you look about ten pounds heavier. And Kelly, you look beautiful as always. Thank you, uh, uh, <laughs> Charles. Charles D'Angelo, you have a great story to tell us this week. Well, I definitely have been what you're. I've been where you're talking about. Three hundred sixty pounds at seventeen years old, and I had the rare opportunity to meet a person who purchased my book and was inspired by my story. He weighed 375 pounds. His name is Edgar Hernandez, and he was just a teenager. He was bullied, he felt ostracized, he felt all alone, and he was about to give up hope on his life. And through the book, in a very short time, he was able to lose 175 pounds, approximately. He's now around 185 to 190 as he's building muscle tissue. And he just purchased Think and Grow Thin, got inspired. He realized that if things were going to be different, it would require a change inside of himself that, you know, the world wasn't going to change all that much. And that's really the philosophy I espouse is that true and lasting change comes from within, not from without. And if you're seeking a, a change from a pill or from a new diet program or from a DVD or from a new piece of equipment, I think you're going to find that the changes you experience will be short lived. So how old is this kid? He's 17 years old. It, 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 is he from St. Louis? He's actually from Illinois. Okay. I, believe, I forget what township of Illinois he's from, but the real neat part is, is he went to a doctor's office. I think he was about 16 when he went, about a year ago, and the doctor told him that uh, he was going to have to start to be medicated for type 2 diabetes. And the scary part about that is, is now we see more and more young people that are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And this is the first generation ever that is now looking to be living a shorter life than their own parents. So it's a very concerning problem that our country now is facing and one that's going to bankrupt our economy. Everyone talks about the debt, but I think you really need to think about the healthcare system of our country because with all the processed foods that the majority of Americans eat and the lack of personal discipline and responsibility people are taking for their lives, there's nowhere in our constitution or any law written anywhere across the country that says you have to be healthy and you have to prevent uh, health disasters in your life. And I think until we really begin to accept the reality that if we don't change as a whole, our country is going to suffer greatly. Productivity, the contribution America makes to the world as a whole, all those things are going to suffer because when you don't have your health, what really matters? If you don't feel good, what truly matters? Hey, Charles D'Angelo, while we have you, uh, the the explosion of uh, rubs and creams and pills and the advertisements that say you work out five minutes every three weeks and you can lose weight. I mean, everybody buys into that, and your program is very simple. You exercise and eat right and stay to the program. Well, I always tell people that it equates to what I call a three-legged stool. You have to have a smart strategy when you're eating. I mean, you can't, the old saying, you know, eat an apple all day, you can't wait till the end of the month and have 30 apples on one day. So you've got to be consistent and smart about your eating habits. Secondly, you've got to have a, tr a strategic and routine exercise program. But I think the thing that I bring to the table that everything else is missing is really the right mindset, how to discipline yourself so that you start to make those mental changes, understanding that you can't live with this identity or with this story that <clears throat> because of what you went through in the past or because of your concern for the future, that you're not, uh, you're not able to have what you want. If you're willing to take charge of the habits that you're practicing every day, making small decisions day after day, over time, those things accumulate and you build momentum. Success is just a result of one thing, making the right choices consistently over time. Many people end up in, in a place where they feel they're a failure. Well, it's only one thing that got them there. It was the small choices that they made consistently. This morning, just before I signed on to Skype, I had an email come in from a woman who had gastric bypass surgery only to regain the 200 pounds mm. that she had lost through the surgery back. Mm. So we understand and you see all the time, turn on Dr. Oz or turn on the uh, 
TLC channel. And you see these people that, like those that I work with that are morbidly overweight, that they think that by having a procedure, or by taking a pill, or by taking a drug, something's going to change. The fundamentals are the same. There's nothing new under the sun. Human history has been the way it's been for about 6,000 years. <laughs> so you can't depend on the government to do something to change your life. You can't depend on your relatives to do something to change your life. If you want your life to be different, you have to change. And the truth is, most people that are in the health industry are more interested in taking money than they are in helping people true, truly achieve lasting change. And I'm a little different than that because I've been there. Yeah. I was one of those people that was taken advantage of because of my desperation. So I'm just here to tell everyone listening that if you feel desperate, if you feel alone, if you feel hopeless, there's hope for you. <clears throat> that young man that was 17, losing 175, 200 pounds, if a 17-year-old kid can do it, why can't you and why don't you do it now? CharlesDiangelo.com is the website. CharlesDiangelo.com. Charles, what's the uh, phone number? 314-495-3228. And the website's completely revamped. There's all sorts of new success stories on there, as well as an upcoming audio coaching series for those that aren't in St. Louis that would like my coaching. Also, the book is uh, Think and Grow Thin, CharlesDiangelo.com. Charles, have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Keep, keep getting slimmer, and we'll come back next month with more tips. KTR St. Louis.